Ontario Toyota Dealers presents Fish TV. It's time to Toyota. Brought to you by Ontario Power Generation. Powering Ontario's future. Rapala, crafted from experience. Go RV in Canada. Bring back wildhood. And Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. With your hosts, Leo Stakos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. Five pounder. Yeah. That's a good fish there. Oh, get him. Oh, that's the way to start off a beautiful morning. Oh, he's got me buried. Oh, oh, oh. Go get him, get him, get him. He's got me buried. Oh, I can see the tail flipping oh, yeah. still. Get towards him, head towards him, buddy. Yeah. I'll get him. Oh, this is a cow. Did you see him jump? This is a cow. Is it a muskie? It's a muskie. It's a muskie. Oh. <laughs> wow. I thought it was a big bass. Oh, did I, buddy? Uh, Even when it jumped, I thought it was a big bass. <laughs> oh, that's a good oh, start, nice, though. Bud. That's a good start right there. You got that right. We just start <laughs> off here in the morning here. Oh, there we go. Oh. In beautiful Kawartha Lake here on Pigeon Lake. And right off the bat, Ron starts off with a fish. Hi, I'm welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stockos. And I'm Ron James. And like I said, we are here on beautiful Pigeon Lake here in the Kawartha Lake region. It is absolutely a beautiful day here. And right off the bat, Ronnie starts off with wow. a muskie. You know what? I thought that was like a five pounder. So it, large it, it looked like a five pounder. But I'll one. take them. <laughs> what a good start. I love this place, you know. We could not wait to get on the water. So let's go get some fish. Hey, we're a couple hours from, not even two hours from Toronto area. Beautiful. ExploreCoartheLakes.com, baby. Come on up and enjoy this fish. He's there. You're going to catch him right now. That's a bass, for sure. There he is. Yep. I told you. There he is. Small one. Yep. I knew there was one there. He was a bass. He was a gas. A gas bass. Just a start. Just a start. Trying to figure these fish out, trying to figure out the pattern. It's always a challenge when you're fishing shallow water, but it pays off big when you get them. Peach it up, peach it up, peach it up. Look at look, 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 look. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Is that a better one? Nope. You sure? I don't know. It looks a little better. I don't know. No. Peach it up. There we go, buddy. Double header, but. So, we keep saying this word, pichiraki. So for those of you who are not Greek, <laughs> a pichiraki is something small, <laughs> but a lot of fun. A pichiraki. <laughs> oh my God, look at them all. Chase what is that? Look at this fight. Wow. What is oh, that? What's that moving over there now? Can you see that? <laughs> he watched them take it. You were I, didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. You were looking the other way. I was looking completely the other way. I was actually looking to where my next cast goes, and, and that is a no-no when you're doing topwater fishing. Worry about where, you, where your topwater is at the time. Don't worry about where you're going to be catching next, because case in point, I just lost a fish there. <laughs> Looks like a little better fish, bud. Not too bad, fella. Yeah. Not too bad. What, buddy? Worth a lake. Rock. Yes. Pigeon. Oh, man. This is phenomenal. I gotta tell you, if you just stay with it and just cast and cast, try shallow, try a fast moving bait, a slow moving bait. You come up here in the Kawartha's here on Pigeon Lake, you're gonna catch fish. We're staying at a place called Cajun Cove Resort. The people there are absolutely incredible. They welcomed us with open arms. Beautiful resort. You've got uh, campers there, you've got cottagers. It's a great place to go. You gotta check it out. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Oh, he came flying out of there, bud. Yeah. I stopped. Did you see how fast he came out of there? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Just popped right out. Whoa. That is a beauty, bud. Yeah, man. <laughs> he came flying right out of there. So we switched areas once again. Yeah. And now we're doing shallow, shallow water without deep water beside us. So right now we're in Nogi's Creek, uh, which is right around the corner from our, from our lodge. That one yeah, came right under that bank. Yeah, he came out so fast. Yeah, he, he, he just hit it and gone. Beautiful. <sighs> nice job, Ronnie. Just flipped in there and swimming the jig down the side of the bank, come out and left the bank. I know, 100 miles an hour. Like, I couldn't even catch up. I was reeling and I set the hook as hard as I could because he was, he had like four feet on me. Now, I will tell you this. Under normal circumstances, when a fish comes flying out of structure, it's because there's another one in there. Well, this is it, but. And he doesn't want to get, he doesn't want the other fish to get the food. True in enough. This, now, in this particular case, I don't think so because we're in really shallow water, but. That was a foot of water. Like it where, it where it's on that spot. It's the first time she's ever pointed like that. No, she pointed on me too. But then she just backed off. Yeah, but this is not backing off for some reason. Look at it. Nice. Look at this. Oh, come on. <laughs> ate it. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Oh, I got him, buddy. Nice. That took a while. Oh, yeah. Nice, buddy, right there. Yeah. So Beauty. We're fishing a row of docks here, and these fish are kind of cruising along the side here. We saw that one earlier. Didn't want anything to do with the bait. We turned back around, downsized a little bit, and that's the result right there. Beautiful Kawartha Lakes here on Pigeon Lake, buddy. Perfect. There you go. There he is. You got him. Oh, my. He just rolled. See, he rolled, but he didn't take it. Where was it? In the pad bed right there. Yep. Right there. You got him. All right. Rolled on me. Little one, too. I thought he was bigger than that, but it's still a fish. Good one. It's chunky. Near reeds and pads. We're really struggling to figure out a pattern. You know, people think that we catch fish. 24 yeah. hours a day. You know, I'm here to tell you, it's fishing, it's not catching. Part of the fun is the hunt, trying to figure out where these fish are during certain yeah. times of the day, and we're getting lucky. We're not really figuring them out, but hey, we're getting fish one after another. Well, we've had three boils where there's reeds and pads. Ow. Oh, two pounder. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> oh, there's two other ones with them. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I think you should get the net for that one there, bud. No. Because it doesn't anybody where the hooks are. You don't want to grab it? No. True enough. Beautiful. There you go. One little hook, bud. Yep. The other one's off. I'm going to throw one more cast just because when there's one, there's more. All right. It's now time for the Ontario Toyota Dealers Tackle Box. Okay guys, let's take a minute out of the action and show you exactly what we're using today. I'll tell you what, when you come to Pigeon Lake in the Kawartha Lakes area and you're fishing for bass, you're going to need this stuff right here. First of all, we use the Terminator Frog. This frog right here works excellent right over heavy covers, slop, pads, stuff like that, real thick cover, but you're going to need a good quality rod to get it out of there. This is an eight foot concept. It's a great stiff rod here with a soft tip, so when the fish bite it, you got a second to set that hook. Also, 65 pound Suffix 832 braid is a must to get those fish out of that heavy cover. You can get a lot of big, big fish, but even those little ones to get them out, you need that good quality line and this good quality rod. Now, a follow-up bait always, my go-to is a jig. 
Just throw a Terminator jig with a craw on the back there. Again, 65 pound braid with an eight foot flipping stick. So when you get in the pads and get them out of there, you need this quality stuff. When you come up to Pigeon Lake and the Kawartha Lakes, bring this stuff with you and you'll catch them just like we are right now. So let's get back to that fish TV action. Nice one. Nice too, fish too. Yeah, little we'll fish back here. I don't know why you were going 100 miles an hour away from the dock. Fishing them quick. I don't know what that noise is in the background, but I don't think it's a boat. <laughs> so I had a hit on that blue boat, and then the, you were going 100 miles an hour trying to get me away from it. I was trying to catch <laughs> it to the dock. Yeah, there you go. There we go. There you go, buddy. Nice fish too. Yes, it is. A little chunker. I think there's another one on this tree. Maybe two. Could be. Well, oh, did you see that, bud? I wasn't even paying attention. Look at the tree and my that's where I got to grab my frog and oh, went that way. That's where the boil was when we were coming in. Remember I pointed to you, I said there's a boil right there. <laughs> Look at this guy. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, just a little guy. There you go. You want to reach down there for me there, buddy? Since you're already down there. No. There you go. There you go. I thought you were joking. You weren't, you weren't gonna get it. No, I wasn't. Nice guy. I, I, nice partner if I got it, eh, guys. There you go, little one. I thought you were joking. You were gonna here. get it. No, come, come here so I can wipe this on your pants. <laughs> There's a towel right there, buddy. No, no. What, I want to wipe it on your pants. <laughs> musky slime. He just didn't want to touch it because because he didn't but, want the musky slime on him. He's afraid of them. This, no, you're a sissy. I did not. I just wanted you to make sure that you were part of the. Just, part of the whole process, buddy. But just reeks. <laughs>
Now we ended up getting them after all, but we also enjoyed ourselves in the town, going out for dinner, sitting on a patio, and just hanging out with friends. So the next time you're up here in Bob Cajun, relax, enjoy yourself, and make it about the whole experience. Better fish. A little bit better. Oh. I can't believe you never got anything off that stump there, Ron. No, just out in that slop. There we go. There's a little one, but hey, lots of fun. But you know what? You get a hundred of these, and then you get one real good one. But or it's a still, musky. still fun. Yeah. That's why I like fishing. Top water. That's why I like fishing, period. I watched him. <laughs> <laughs> I watched him. He come out of the dock. I should have stole him off you. And he, no, he sat there and looked at it, and I shook it once, and he just rifled it. Are like, you sure? <laughs> you're like, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, yeah. I love watching that. <laughs> I should have pitched. You would have came from mine. Who just pitched it in, and the jig's sinking, and I watched his head come out of the <laughs> dock. Like, no, 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 no. Like, no, 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 don't flip, don't flip. And I just shake it once, and the thing comes over, and I'm 100 uh, miles an hour. Folks, I want you guys to realize what kind of nice friend I am by allowing him to catch that. That's a skinny little fish right there. He'll grow up. Except the poor guy hasn't eaten in two months and you go, yeah. he ate the wrong thing. And I watched him come out, look at it, and he just sat there. And then I just went, twit, twit, and then he just go, Wah! Maybe our camera guy can wake up. <laughs> nice fish. There we go, buddy. Bring him over here. <laughs> nice. There you go. Whew. Just when you were taking a break there, buddy. I was having my lunch. I knew you were going to get one off that boat. Did you? Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't even going to pitch it, and I thought, Look you know Look at what? how fat that fish is, bud. Look at that. That's a nicer fish. There you go. Beauty. Oh, thanks, buddy. No worries. Yeah, this one's been eaten. That one has been eaten. Oh, absolutely. You can see by the gut. You see here, so this one's just starting to go on the feed here. So it's obviously it spawned maybe a, maybe a couple weeks ago. Now it's just sitting there recouping. But I felt that thud under there, bud. I set the hook and it didn't move. I'm like, okay, now we got a good one now going. Now we got one. A little bit better. All right, let's get this guy going now. Let's get this guy into the water here. Whoa. She wanted to go back. Yeah, buddy. Good job. Lunch is over. Let's get out of there. He just took it. Yeah, that's a good one too, bud. My line was all tangled up. <laughs> well, he is too. He is I know it is. I, he, <laughs> my line was all tangled up. And I, got, I got my line out there, so <laughs> the two of us are a mess. Oh, not look bad. at this guy. It's funny because we both saw that boil. <laughs> that's not a bad fish at all. Good one, man. We both saw that boil. We both tried to cast to it, but as luck would have it, every time you go to cast, hard into the wind, you get a bird's nest. Neither one of us should get that, get to that fish. I threw that last cast, I got a bird's nest again. <laughs> I'm letting line out and my camera guy goes, I think you got a boil. Sure enough, this is crazy. It's fun though. Oh yeah. See you later, buddy. Top of water. See you later. Oh, oh nice. That's a cow. Right off, right off the channel there, bud. Oh, yeah. Don't that's lose a, it. Don't lose good one, it. Buddy. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. down for that guy, buddy. There's oh. no one picking that one up. <laughs> nice job, fella. Oh, look at that one, bud. Nice job. There we go. Ooh. That is beautiful. Yes. That's what I've been looking well, for. I think we made a good call coming down here, buddy. You know what? There's not a lot of them, but you know what? We always said, you're always going to get one or two 
big fish. You know, they, they just come off the spawn. They're in their post spawn right now. They're just six. starting to eat. <laughs> I want five or six, not one or two. That is a duker right there, that, bud. That's the one I was looking for right there. That is a tank right there, buddy. That's a good one, man. Did he just explode on it? Not really. No? Just took it down, bud. Wow. And ate it. Look at that. Look at that, bud. That's a nice one. Yeah, that fish just come off spawn not long ago. Put another month onto that. Oh, that's that a five pounder. That thing will be a five pounder, buddy. Yeah, that's solid four, though. That's a good one right there. I'll but take those goes, all day long. Just goes to show you, though, and, and these are some of the things we like to teach the folks at home. That's how you know what a post spawn fish looks like. And, and this, is, their conditions are a little bit tough right now, and now we're realizing why because it's such a late season that these fish are coming off a of spawn later, and they're just starting to eat now. You give that fish another month, that's a five pound fish. He ate something. He had a little bit of a belly on him. Well, too bad it's not gonna fill him up though. He ate the wrong thing. Terminator frog. <laughs> I tell you, you get down here at the bottom end of Pigeon Lake, you start throwing frogs like this when they're really going, you get all kinds of those size fish. There you go, bud. Right off the there ding. There you go. I just finished dinging it too. There you go. Just finished nice. digging it right there. Oh, nice. That's a good fish, dude. <laughs> so there it goes to show you. That, that, that's the dinner bell. The noise oh. doesn't make a difference. <laughs> nice. Thank you, sir. There we go. We decided we're like two minutes away from the cottage. I said, let's just come in here one more time in Nogi's Creek, flip around some of the docks, and there you go right there. That's good job, bud. Oh, it's been a phenomenal day, bud. Like, you know I mean, what? It's been a phenomenal trip. This area, Kawartha Lakes area, it's got it all. It does. And you know what? When, when you're done, you go into the town of Bob Cajun, oh. and you've got everything in there. You've got Beautiful. you've got restaurants, you've got grocery store, you've got yeah. the shoe place, Bigley's there. Like, you got ice cream. Well, I tell you right now, I am going to check out Kawartha Dairy, because I love Kawartha Dairy. <laughs> you got to get out here, guys. Kawartha Lakes, Pigeon Lake. It is absolutely beautiful. What is it? ExploreKawartha.com. No, no. ExploreKawarthaLakes.com. There you go. Let's get Check that Check it out, guys. <laughs> Check out our website as well, fishtv.tv. Until next week, I'm Leo Stockles. I'm Rod James. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. Bye-bye, everyone. Take yeah. care. Nice. Hey. I just got slime on me. <laughs> I guess, when you put your lips on them. <laughs> <laughs>